The government is on a mission, a mission to improve the lives of Ghanaians through digitalization. And the plan is for every single Ghanaian, no matter their location and their status in life, to benefit. With digitalization, you can improve the lives of Ghanaians by bringing in more efficiency in the provision of services, less bureaucracy, less hassle, and also less corruption. So once you can put in a system that ensures that um, there is uh, elimination uh, to a large extent of corruption, uh, then you are able to get more resources to improve the lives of the people. Digitalization is really transforming the country and every Ghanaian is a beneficiary. From the comfort of your home, you can now apply for a passport. The risk of traveling long distances and spending money and days in long queues to renew your national health insurance cards are all a thing of the past. The Star 929 hash can easily do the trick. The Zipline drone services are also saving lives of especially Ghanaians in deprived areas in real time. Through mobile money services and mobile money interoperability, every Ghanaian now owns a bank account. The NPP flag bearer says it is now time for the transport sector to also witness a massive transformation. The transport sector is, is a sector which is a very important part of the economy. The large proportion of incomes of workers are spent on transportation. Uh, and so it is an area where you find a lot of frustration uh, in the um, use of transportation services. And we believe that uh, digitalization in the transport sector will really improve um, efficiency uh, and also improve revenues for owners because they, you can plug a lot of leakages. As a policy maker, I look at it from three different angles. One, for safety and security. Two, to look at it from revenue assurance level. And also to look at it from real time offering service to the client. Either two people have to go to join either a queue or have to go and wait at a lorry park or a station before the person can join queue and, and buy a ticket and board a bus. But if you can have a system whereby you can sit at the comfort of your house and purchase your ticket, offer you a real time service and also gives you another opportunity to attempt the other things that you do. In terms of revenue assurance, I mean, I think that it's an area that you know how digitalization has helped in terms of trying to curb corruption. This is akin to the blue credit sized store value contactless smart card called the Oyster Card used in London in the United Kingdom. Passengers load money on it and swipe or flash it on an electronic reader when entering a bus or in some cases when leaving. The Ghanaian version is called Tap and Go. For us, the Tap and Go is where passengers come to our point, use the card or load his card from our end, get to the conductor, issue his ticket, yeah, what you call it, his ticket, and he's ready to go. So it's a matter, is a case whereby we want to eliminate the use of cash in our transport operation. We don't use credit cards and you know the use of cash becomes uh, a major avenue for corruption. So we want to move away from cash, move away, to move towards electronic payment. Uh, and then uh, with that, there's no problem with change. But more importantly, the owners of the vehicles uh, at any point in time can tell where the vehicle is, at any point in time can tell how much because the payment goes directly in real time. If you are the owner of a vehicle sitting at home, you can tell on your mobile phone uh, how much 
uh, the vehicle is aiming at any one time. So the driver cannot come home and tell you that, uh, well, today was not good, so I got only 100 CDs, when in fact they got 500 CDs. You know, so uh, there's transparency uh, and real-time visibility. The Metro Mass buses are visible on every road in Ghana. This tells how operational they are and how that should reflect in how much money they generate for the country. The managing director says this wasn't the case. When I assumed office in 2018 as managing director of this company, I chanced on the, an audit that was done by PricewaterhouseCoopers. And in the report, it's indicated that 50% of revenue on a daily basis goes into people's pockets. So I try as a managing director to find how authentic that report is as far as our operations are concerned. I set up a group of people to go from terminal to terminal across the country and every point that they went to, it's testified that 50% of our revenue was going into people's pockets. What they were doing is that they would load the vehicle, sit in the bus, go with the conductor to the end, come back. And where they go and bring 2,500 cities, these people go with them, the minimum they will get is 5,000. And we don't do it just for a day, we do it two weeks, three weeks on the route. And we did that across the nation within one year period. And it's indicated clear. So we use that as a target. We needed a system that will eliminate the use of cash in paying for everything as far as our operations are concerned. And that answer is the tap and go that we are doing as, as we speak. According to the vice president, the benefits are even more than what his eyes can see. The, the bank will also be able to know, that, you know how much your earnings are also every time. So if you want to get a loan, you can easily prove that the data shows that I am earning so much every month and so I'll be able to repay this loan. But now you don't have any data, you just go to the bank and they'll have to take your word for it because there's no data that shows how much. But I mean, whether you're a driver or you're an owner, any bank or financial institution will be able to verify from your the data from your daily sales uh, and then you are able to do so. And once that happens, you can think of pension schemes for drivers in the area, for, for driver mates uh, and all of that. In good time, we will all be moving towards the tap and go system and, and you will have efficiency, you have lower corruption, you have safety uh, on our, our roads. We have in place as part of the new system, a parcel services that generates a code for you, indicates by way of text that your item has been received you can track it whilst the thing is en route to your destination. Once it gets to the destination, you are going to be informed your parcel is in and then you come intact, everything intact. These are some of the things that we are doing with the new system that we are, we are, we are putting in place. So everything, anywhere you want to send across, Metro Mass parcel system is there, fully automated. It track, you can track your, your parcel right from the destination to the, 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 the right from the origin to the destination to give you an assurance of security and safety you can even use the tap and go system to look at the driver behavior how drivers drive how passengers you know you see people talk about and people talk about insecurity or unsafe growth and I attribute it only to the driver no even the way passengers also even behave to give you the opportunity to monitor them and also give the opportunity that if something happens to the car while the car is moving you'll be able to detect it go and offer the service that you need to offer them the car can get an accident on the road where you know you don't even detect who are those in the bus but if you go to the tap and go system which gives which comes with manifest and then you'll be able to allocate people you'll be able to identify people going through you know where they come from so if anything happens on the road you have easy access of, of contacting either their family people or whoever they've indicated on the on the list. It has indeed been a game changer here at the Metro Mass Transit Limited. As I speak to you, the revenue that we get on a daily basis, when we were, they were running buses around 400, 500 units of buses, we were not getting that amount of money. We run 
less than 200 buses across nation as we speak. And the amount of money that we generate now is more than what they were using 500 buses to generate. It tells you the level of efficiency that comes in, have come into our operation. And one unique thing about this whole tap and go system that we are running, it's unique to the operations of Metromas. We started at the base line to make sure it fits into our operations. It's well tailored me to fit into our operations. And that is exactly what is happening. We started with the use of the POS, whereby passengers were paying with cash, but the system was issuing the receipts. So we were getting to know the number of passengers that we take on a daily basis. It gives you a live data of whatever is happening across country or, or the terminal. Once the ticket is issued from the POS, it gets into the central system whereby sitting in my office as a managing director, I just go straight into my phone and I know how much from the time that we start operation around 3.30 a.m. in the morning up to 12 o'clock, I will know what the situation is going to be for the day because then I will know the number of buses that I have. I will know the, the load factor, the number of passengers carried, I will know the amount of money that we have received as a company and I will know the latest of fuel that we have used. It has been carefully thought through to even enhance the mobile money business. When you go to the terminal as to speak now, you can go other with your momo. You you transfer your money into the system. You give you have a number that is if once you transfer the money into the system, it gives you a QR code. You show it to the conductor, you scan it in the POS and you are good to go. If you don't have a momo with you and you are going with the physical cash, you have the presence of uh, MTN at our terminal at Kaneshi here. That is going to be replicated into all other parts of our operational areas very soon. Probably by the end of April, we should have come to the end. All our loading points will have been fully equipped with this system. So you go to the uh, uh, MCM memo merchant who has been loaded a huge amount of money to run the operations for the day. You go, you give your money to the, uh, uh, the MTN uh, 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 vendor. He generates a QR code for you, issue it, you go, you scan it on a POS and you are good to go. It is completely 100% cashless. You can buy your tickets advance. A visit to the Kaneshi depot of the Metro Mass Company confirmed how comfortable passengers are with a cashless system. You wait me to see a good Tell me about the full cut bus in the and all the tap of my machine. Yes, I'm not say I took a lot of fairness. I was some boy, my mescano, Scassamania was a wasser. Oh, my near boy, my metro mass also. This one is a new one, it makes it easier for you to have your tickets and join the bus, and also it makes it easier for um, the company, the government, to locate transactions without any error. And you know, yeah, but before you had to join a whole queue to get your tickets join the bus you know a whole lot of um complications but now it's not like that this one actually makes it easy yeah for you to join the bus first nothing i could learn when i could just take it in there someone sent me bring the same day as i said i think i was something when you do an hour the man machine the machine has a lot of beneficial when he recently addressed the nation on his vision for ghana the vice president reiterated how digitalization will be the panacea to the corruption fight. And he says that is exactly what he started. All the digital initiatives that we are implementing have a major element of fighting corruption. So if you look at um, digitalization of public services, now you go to the DVLA, um, it's very smooth and you can do things um, on your mobile phone, online. You, 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 the, you, the corruption has really, really come down. You have the same thing at passport office, the ports, beds and debts. So all this, in the ECG, when we digitalize ECG, you're moving from revenue of 450 million a month to 1.2 billion a month. The same sort of jumps we saw with passport revenue and so on. So when we look at Metro Mass Transit and other institutions like STC. The evidence from Metro Mass Transit is very significant when we did the pilot. 
revenue suddenly have jumped because there are no longer any leakages when you use the tap and go system for the intercity travels that they are doing. There are no leakages. You have, you know, major jumps, three, you know, uh, fold whatever jumps in revenue. So you are, you are going to see um, improved profits and profitability of Metro Mass Transit. And of course, when you have improved profits and profitability, workers benefit, right? Because there are no longer going to be threats that they are going to lay off workers because we are not profitable. The Metro Mass Transit Limited cannot enjoy this initiative alone. Metro Mass Transit is where we are starting. Uh, and so we will move on uh, state transport also, VVIP, VIP, the electronic, uh, electric vehicles that buses, electric vehicles that we are bringing in, which will uh, go to Metro Mass, STC, VV, VIP and so on. Uh, they will also be used in electric vehicles. All those electric vehicles will be on the tap and go. But the goal is to end up with the trotros as well, because that is where a lot of the buses are using also. So we, we expect that once we move with the buses, uh, we will then end up with the trotros. The taxis are already beginning with the go ride service. Uh, you know that we are onboarding the taxi drivers so that they can also be digitalized like the Uber vehicles. So they have a, a, a software that the local taxis are also going to be using. So the vision is to involve all of the public transport. The vision is big and its impact on the Ghanaian economy will be immeasurable. Me personally, I have the belief in the man that when he becomes the president of Ghana, Ghana is going to change through his digitalization agenda. Because I am a witness to it. I have seen what is happening here in Metro Mass and it is going to help reduce first drastically when we introduce the electronic vehicles that we are bringing on board. Because the main drivers of our operations, it's fuel. And once fuel goes up, it affects uh, vehicle fares, which in other words affect everything. It affects inflation, it affects food prices, everything. So once with the tap and go, that is going to reduce the, drastically the leakage in our systems and make our operations perfect, efficient, and running smoothly, and adding the electric vehicles to it, rather that. My company is going to go somewhere very soon. This journey is, is, is really uh, an important journey in fighting corruption, increasing revenue, saving jobs, uh, and, and improving conditions of service, ultimately. Digitalizing all sectors of the Ghanaian economy is possible, and the possibility lies in how the journey has started and the speed at which it is spreading and touching the lives of every Ghanaian. Yes, it can be done. It is possible. <laughs>